so in our last video we have seen a vaporist full application programming model it is all about and uh, why sap has come up with a restful application programming model we have also seen what are the limitations in the previous uh, application programming model so in this video we will be starting building our app using a restful application programming model using a app for that let's first create our package so we will be creating our package as zcim rap underscore uh, 5000 and then uh, let's have demo okay click on next and uh, software component what it is asking okay so let me give z local z local click on next and uh, take our tr and click on finish so we have got our package created here so our package is ready and uh, let's assign a super package here z l o c l and uh, hit enter and activate okay activate all so now our package is ready and uh, let's create our uh, first table so click on this and click on other repository objects and uh, select database table click on next and uh, we will be creating a database table with the same name okay so students detail click on next and edit to transport so now we have we have our table created and uh, let's add some more fields here whatever we want so very first field would be anyway it would be m n d t which would be not null and the uh, second field again would be our a uh, primary key so let's call it as id and uh, this will be an auto generate key so this is x u u id and this will also not null okay so and uh, the next field would be call it student first name and uh, so this is what our table looks like so let's make this fields like it will easier to understand our name uh, let's remove the student here and uh, let's remove the status as well okay now a little bit more clear and uh, let's activate so our table is now ready so our next step is to create a cds view which will be our uh, interface view okay so let's create an interface view here quickly so new vcim rap 5000 file new 
other object and uh, data definition package is zcim underscore wrap 5000 the name would be zi underscore student underscore 5000 okay so interface entity view for student okay so copy this click on next next and select define view entity click on finish so we have got this details and uh, then our data would be coming from our table which is zcim underscore rap5000 and uh, here we will be getting all of the fields okay so go to source code and format so we have got our uh, cds view entity axis control axis control hash not required okay now one thing what we need to do is since this will be our root entity so we need to define it as a root here so we will add a root keyword this is very important step so since uh, when we are doing a projection or when we are doing creating a fiori application then uh, for projection it should have a root entity to get started right so this is will be our root entity that's why we have added here a root keyword and now do an activate So this is done, uh, our CDS view is activated. Now, once we have the root entity created, now let's create a consumption view for this CDS view entity. So for that, again, we will be creating uh, other object and uh, we'll create a data definition, click on next and the package again will be zcim and the consumption view name would be zc underscore student underscore 5000 okay so consumption view for student okay click on next uh, next and uh, again select define view entity and click on finish okay so now our data would be coming from our interface view so we will provide zi underscore student and uh, 5000 okay and uh, so we have created a consumption view and uh, now to add a projection so we will be adding a projection on our uh, this view which we have created so that will be done as dollar as projection projection on this table and uh, let's give an alias as uh, student and uh, let's insert all of the fields here okay and what it is saying authorization check so we will be saying not required now let's add some annotations here quickly to display these fields into the table format so the key field is uh, first we will be adding the id field so we will provide the annotation and user text 
dot label as student okay and uh, yeah let's activate it this got activated so we have got three things completed one is our database table and then one is interface view and another is the consumption view which where we have used the projection for our interface view and uh, some of the annotations here now once we have created our consumption view the next step is to create a metadata extension file where we will be adding some more annotations to make our ui a little bit rich okay so to create a metadata extension okay so now our uh, extension file would be we will be keeping the same name for the annotation or the metadata annotations and metadata annotation for the student table okay click on next next and uh, we will be taking annotate view and click on finish so now we have got our metadata extension file now let's add some of the annotations here as well first delete this thing and insert all of the fields whatever we want okay metadata layer would be hash and make it partner and now let's start putting some of the annotations so we will be showing these fields on the ui so ui assign and uh, line item position would be first position and label would be student id and this same field we want to add on to uh, identification as well so we will be putting identification and again the position would be 10 and the label would be student id okay so this one is done now the same thing needs to be done for uh, for first name is now let's activate it activation error where is the error in this so metadata extension allow a missing in consumption okay so we can only create a metadata extension once we add here a annotation which is which is at the rate metadata allow extension to true okay so this ex this annotation is required click on activate it's got activated and now let's activate the metadata extension so now this got activated okay so we have created a table interface view consumption view and a metadata extension for the consumption view or the projection view here okay in the next video we will be creating our uh, other objects which will include the behavior definition service definition and the service binding okay so just to show case how the fury application will look like okay that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you